I'm willing to bet that there are things in your life, like in many people's lives, that you stay away from, that you stray from, that you kind of push away from the table on because you're not so sure it'll work out. This is the guy who's afraid to go after the girl because he's afraid she might say no, or the person who's afraid to apply to the school because they're afraid that they're not going to get in or afraid to go after that job because they maybe don't have the qualifications. It's anything in life that we sit out in front of that we're afraid is not going to work out. And there, we're in this whole phase, I think, societally of mindset, the mindset of a winner. You can manifest the truth that you're going to live your way into. And there's a lot of people talking about this stuff that, quite frankly, I have always thought is just bullshit. I mean, truthfully, a lot of guys, especially in fighting, they talk about having to have this winning mindset. And this has all been on my mind this week because uh, I had a fight just last night. And I'll tell you about this fight because I did not have a winning mindset for this fight. I put my name in to get to get weighed in, to get a matchup for this bout based on the fact that in like two months, I'm going to be 40. And after you're 40, it is apparently much harder to get a good matchup. So uh, I got a matchup with this guy who's much younger than me. He's 32. I'm 39, so sort of younger. And uh, about the same weight as me with a similar number of fights. And I was really excited about him because that sounds like a great matchup. Relatively same on age and weight. We've got similar number of fights. Like that should be a pretty good, that should be a pretty good like bout right there. Except for one thing. About a week and a half ago, I was training and I was sparring with a dude who hit me in the chest and like blasted one of my ribs <laughs> right out of place. So I have had the most painful breathing for a week and a half that I can imagine. And I've been trying so hard to rehab this rib to get ready for a fight that I was certain I would not win in the kind of pain that I've been walking around in. And so going into a fight, you you really do want to have the mindset of like, I'm going to go do this to win. I'm going to walk in there and I'm going to steamroll the other guy. I'm going to stick to my jab and it's going to be awesome. But I could not get this like nagging thought out of my head the entire time that like, I'm going to lose this fight. I can't breathe. It hurts to take a breath. Like, and I'm going to get winded fast because of this. There's pain all throughout here. It's an upper rib. Okay. So sometimes in boxing, especially kickboxing, these floating ribs get kicked out quite a bit. I've had that happen, but this one was a blow to the chest and it hurts here and in my upper back. And so I'm even at the fight last night, warming up and truly having like the Batman two face conversation with myself about this fight. One side of me is like, Tim, you're going to get this. You're going to win. And then I would just jump rope for a few seconds or hit the pads for a few seconds. And then the, the other side of me is like, you can't breathe. You're not going to be able to take it. If this guy hits you in the chest, you're going to cry in front of these people. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with you? I thought very seriously about just tapping out before I even went in. And then I started thinking weird things to myself. Like if I go into this, how far through it do I have to get before I just take a knee and just say, I can't do it anymore. And like all kinds of insane, crazy stuff goes through my head because I was pretty sure I wasn't going to make it. And that was the overarching thing. And I went into the fight with this guy who was an excellent fighter um, if you're in, in boxing. This guy's incredible at creating angles and uh, and making himself really hard to hit. I, every other shot, I, he was out from in front of me and I was really trying to get after him. Get him, get him, get him. So finally, the end of the fight comes around. It's a split decision and they gave me the win on this one. And by the way, this guy was, <laughs> he was flabbergasted uh, that I won because right after the fight, he looked back in his corner like, what the heck? Uh, I was as well, although my trainer said he wasn't and, and my family and friends who were watching said that they weren't because they said that I was clearly uh, the winner from what they watched. But I, you know, this whole idea of mindset in life is something that's been a really, really I think substantial misleading idea for a lot of people. A lot of guys go into stuff thinking like you got to have the right mindset. And again, I think it's important, but I don't think it is the foundational key ingredient to success. Like more than that, I think just applying yourself is that key ingredient. I recently made a video where I just talked about the biggest hurdle that people have in whether it's starting a business or starting a social media platform or whatever it is that you want to do in your life is just starting. 
But then once you start, like just applying yourself to a thing the best that you can is uh, is like the next thing you got to do, even if you're not 100% sure about what you're pursuing. Like I last night was sure that I would lose. I really was like in my heart of hearts. I was like, I'm probably going to lose this. And it wasn't until the second round when I heard Terrence from Cigars Daily Live shout, he's winded, that it really blew some wind into my sails. And I was like, this guy is winded. I'm going to go after it. And the second round I did. And then after the second round, my trainer looked at me. He said, you're doing great. And he said, this fight is now. It's just all about who wants it more. Which meant that we had, we had had pretty even exchange of blows and we were pretty much neck and neck. And it was really going to be about who in this final round just absolutely went for it wholehearted. And I decided I wanted that to be me. But when it comes to life, whether it's, you know, again, the business or the social media platform, like I, I like something that Elon Musk talks about. I saw an interview with him. He was talking about the 16 hour work days that he does these insanely long work days that he invests himself from every waking second till he goes to bed and then sleeps at his office, whether it's at Tesla or SpaceX, he's like sleeping in the office and he's just basically working and sleeping. And that's about it. And someone asked him if he was really like bummed out or if he was really frustrated or, or had any, any issues with the fact that he's like missing, maybe missing out on life or, or dedicating himself so wholeheartedly. And the response that he gave is he's like, isn't it worth throwing yourself at something so completely that you like find out what you're really capable of, that you find out what the ceiling is? And I like that idea. Like when it came to this fight for boxing, it wasn't about like I'm going to go in here and win because I got a winning mindset and I've, I'm manifesting my truth about winning the thing. It's like I train for this all the time. I've thrown myself at, at competing and fighting as much as I can. And now the question is, can I win with a partial gas tank with, with my, my stamina damaged? Cause it is like when it hurts to breathe, it takes it out of you. It's the same thing as when you, when you see guys in a fight and they take a really good body shot, it steals gas from their gas tank. It literally takes your breath away. It makes it so that you get winded and get tired. And that's when your arms drop and that's when you get knocked out. Like going into a fight with pain already in your breathing steals gas from your gas tank before the fight starts. That's why I felt so certainly like I would lose. But then the challenge for me was to like, what if I just threw myself at this thing? Like I'm going to throw myself at everything else. And truly like that, I think is in its own way, a weird winning mindset to have is just like, I'm going to do this. Even if I don't want to do the thing. I mean, I, Truly, with Cigars Daily, there's a similar element here, a similar aspect. You know, before starting the Cigars Daily YouTube channel, I had had some success in YouTube and I had had some, you know, a, a small following in the world and community of cigars. But when I started Cigars Daily, there were no guarantees that anything was going to go well. I didn't know how well it was going to go. I had certainly changed the formula from, from what I had done before Cigars Daily. Cigars Daily was very new and it's a completely own thing. So when I got that started out, I had no clue if it was going to go well. And I like, and there wasn't like a, yeah, I'm going to go dominate. I'm going to win this thing. And like, I see that in sports so much. Like I mentioned, the guys who go into the fight, they're like, yeah, there's no way I'm not winning this fight. I didn't know. In fact, there was a dude on Reddit. I've mentioned this a few times. There's a dude on Reddit who put out this like page long post about like somebody said, hey, did you see Tim is going to start this Cigars Daily thing on YouTube? And this is back in 2018. This guy writes this page long post about like, I've been following Tim for a while and like, I don't think that guy has any clue what he's doing. And I know his father-in-law is going to be his partner and I think he's going to waste all of his father-in-law's investment in him and he's going to tank this thing. It was a pay basically wrote a dissertation to prove that I didn't know what I was doing and that I wasn't going to make it. And that scared the living daylights out of me. And I think it's natural like online to read. It's, it's not... I think it's natural for our minds, but not naturally good to read and assume that someone knows what they're talking about. I read this thing. I was like, what does this guy see in me that I don't see? And the truth is, at the end of the day, what he saw was something that really wasn't there. And when we started Cigars Daily, I said, I'm going to make the best damn cigar content online. And as it turns out, 
the most people have agreed with that because Cigars Daily has the largest uh, online cigar community on the planet following it in the world of social media. Cigars Daily is the biggest cigar community that there is, which is just such a cool privilege. But a lot of people thought like, this is the best damn cigar content. I'm getting the most value here. So this is the community that I'm going to join. And that's a huge privilege, but I but like, had no idea that was going to happen. I think attitude is important. I think when you go into something, have, having an attitude of commitment is probably the defining factor, right? If you have an attitude that says, I'm going to put myself toward this, come win or lose, no matter what, you go for it. And then you, you like Elon Musk says, you commit yourself so wholeheartedly to something that you see what you're actually made of. And, and you don't accept anything other than discovering where the ceiling is. And being okay with where that ceiling appears above your head, I think may be part of the challenge too. But for me, certainly, I didn't run into it this week. And I'm pretty excited to have another belt to put on the wall. So uh, I do think that I'm going to have some space between now and the next time that I compete. Because truth be told, uh, I, I came home last night and pretty much just slammed a muscle relaxer <laughs> to go to bed. And uh, even laughing right now hurts here an unbelievable amount. And so I'm going to definitely heal up all the way before I go in anything else, which means I'll skate right through my 40th birthday without taking another fight. And I'm okay with that. I got this belt and the other belt behind me. I got to figure out how to hang and... Uh, and then figure out, again, what the next challenge is going to be. It may be more fighting. It might be Brazilian jiu-jitsu. It might be doing some building and lifting. The one thing I do know about myself is I got to have a goal. I got to have a goal to work toward. Other, without a goal, I get dangerously lazy. And that, that, that's no good for my life. But I'm curious for you. What would be the thing that a winning attitude or, or maybe some fear about failure has been keeping you from doing, even if it's simple, like starting a project around the house. I would be curious to hear about that stuff. I, If you've watched as much of this video, dear God, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm putting this stuff out because on this channel, I have the opportunity to post just whatever the hell I want. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to post here what I want. If there's something that it seems like you guys like and you're watching a lot, I'll make more of that kind of content. But this is my opportunity to do that and talk about the more about the boxing and more about some other stuff I want to tell you guys about in the upcoming weeks and months. And so thanks for joining me here and uh, letting me chat with you guys. It's Sunday afternoon. I'm going to go hang out with my boy. So please drop a comment down below. Let me know what you should start, maybe didn't start. And uh, I'll see you all in the comments.